breaking news out of Ohio. Two police officers shot and killed outside of Columbus. The officers immediately came under fire, responding to a potential domestic situation. The officers identified as 39-year-old Eric Joring and 54-year-old Anthony Morelli. A suspect is in custody. It's her stuffed animal, not her, but... Your name? My name's Jennifer Rip Perker. Spell that. R-I-P-P-E-R-G-E-R. -E -E and common spelling was Jennifer with two N's? It is. Okay, um, what, what's, your, what's your thoughts when you hear of what happened to the, the officers here? You know, the Westerville police officers patrol our neighborhood and, and really do a really good job of responding to any of our safety concerns. I'm just heartbroken. I can't even, I can't even hardly talk about it. Um, you knew a little about, without getting into details of the situation. We're a tight-knit community. Um, when you when you hear what apartment number it is, and you talk to your neighbors, and they say, "Oh, I just talked to him last week," and you know this is what was going on in his life that he told me, and and to hear that this has happened now, it's just it's unspeakable. It's 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 a really tight-knit community, and we all feel it. Um, could this have been prevented? How how could this have been prevented? Do you think? Something like you know, it's when people care about their neighbors and say, "Hey, you're going through a hard time. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's. What can we do for you?" And when you say that, um, kind of, what do you know of the? Of I just know from a friend of a friend who had said, "I think it's this gentleman who lost his job last week, and he, he thought that uh, his, uh, his family was going to fall apart." And then, do you, um, um, just again, like, the whole situation is, what were your thoughts when you heard this go down? Well, when I heard the sirens stop on the street and they didn't go past, I knew something had happened here and we came out. And uh, you really just have to stand back and, and let the professionals do their job. The EMS people and the, and the fire brigade were here and the police officers. You can't get too close when you hear shots in your neighborhood. You want to stay in your house and, and let the professionals keep you safe. What did you see? I only saw the officer carrying the weapon out of the house after the fact with blood on him. And you just... Your heart breaks because you know that that person is traumatized, even though they are serving the community. And talk, uh, just again about how much the officers mean to the Westerville community. Oh my goodness, they 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 stop and talk to you when you're walking your dog. Hey, how are you doing? They know your names. They know your neighbors' names. They say, oh, okay, you know, we we know what's going on with this family. They get personally involved with us on on different levels that just makes us all know that they're really here to look out for us and, and the, keep us safe. And you're pretty sure that it was two Westerville PD that, that... I did not see or I did not see anyone actually being put into uh, the care flight uh -huh. or anything but... <coughs> but you say it was here for a while? The care flight? Yeah. I, th I think from the time that it arrived and landed, it was here for a good 20 minutes. It did not take off with a trauma victim rushing to the ER. Um, anything else you'd like to add? I, I hope that, you know, people understand that it's guns, it's not guns that kill people, it's people using guns that kill people. And with the controversy that can be put on things like this in the media, it's it's real people that are involved. It's not really a, something that's conversation worthy over the dinner table. People's hearts were broken today and their lives shattered. And you live here in Westerville, right? I do. And this is officially Westerville where we're at sit standing? Yes, okay. it is. Okay, well, thank you for your time. All right. I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's fine.
other side is better. I don't want to get stuck. Good afternoon. Thank you all for being here. My name is David Collinsworth. I'm the city manager for the city of Westerville. It's with a heavy heart that I have to report to you this afternoon that uh, the Westerville Police Division lost two of its finest officers this afternoon. Officers Eric Joring, 17-year veteran of the Westerville Division of Police, age 39. Officer Tony Morelli, a 30-year veteran of the Police Division, age 54. Both were involved in an incident responding to a 911 call around noon this afternoon. And both were uh, shot and um, have died as a result of their wounds. Before I call uh, Chief Morbitzer up to say a few words, I would like to take a moment uh, to extend to the families of the officers, officers uh, Joring and Morelli, the deep sympathy um, and comforting thoughts from the city of Westerville family. It's with uh, great regret that um, we stand here today acknowledging their passing. I would also invite the community at large, the Westerville community and all of Central Ohio to offer their prayers and condolences uh, to the families and their thoughts and I'd also like to take just a minute to acknowledge uh, the support that we have received from throughout the Central Ohio community. Our neighbors uh, from throughout Central Ohio who have been quick to offer their support and their assistance in this event. And we are deeply appreciative of that. And we want to thank them for uh, their extensive offers of support and their condolences as well. We will not be able to answer very many questions, if any, today. Um, so at this point in time, I am going to invite uh, Chief Morbitzer to provide a few more details for you about the incident this afternoon. Chief. Good afternoon, everyone. Chief Morbitzer, Westerville Division of Police. First of all, true American heroes, two gave their life today responding to calls of assistance out of a potential domestic situation. Both officers gave their life in protection of others. Those are true American heroes. As Mr. Collinsworth said, our Westerville family, our Westerville community will rally around the immediate families of these officers who were slain in the line of duty. I'm confident that our staff will take them under their wings and do everything possible for the families. As far as the situation, we received a 911 call at 12.02 this afternoon and officers responded on a hang-up call. At 12.10, the officers arrived on the scene. As they went into the, the apartment, they were immediately met with gunfire and both officers were shot. Officer Joring passed away on the scene. Officer Morelli was transported to the hospital where he later passed away. I also want to thank all of the agencies that have helped us out 
who has supported us here at the police department and with this investigation. The Columbus Police Department will be handling the, the investigation. They are currently on the scene processing the shooting scene. We have already received, and the family should know, we've received condolences and pledges of support from all over the United States already. These were two of the best we have. This was their calling. And they did it right. They knew how to do policing the right way, both of them. As I said, both gave their life in protection of others, and that's what they lived and breathed. Again, I thank all, everybody for everything they've done for our division. I ask that you keep the families of Officer Joring and Morelli in your prayers. And all other law enforcement and public safety officers in the United States. They risk their lives every single day. This is evident of that. We will miss both of these officers because they were pillars in our department. They were the ones people went to. They served in so many different capacities with us, both officers, and were always willing to go above and beyond to help out new recruits to help out the organization in any way they could. They dedicated, literally dedicated their life to our organization, our city, and our citizens. And I ask you to, again to keep them in your prayers. Thank you.